Welcome to a lesson in which we'll graph and determine the key components of a linear function written in slope-intercept form. Here we're given the function f of x equals four minus three x. We're asked to determine the slope, vertical intercept, horizontal intercept, two additional points, and graph the function. For a quick review, a linear function is in slope-intercept form when it's in the form f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx where m is equal to the slope of the line, notice m is the coefficient of x, and b is equal to the vertical intercept or y-intercept, which is the constant term in the equation. So even though b tells us where the line intersects the vertical axis, we should give the vertical intercept as an ordered pair, which would be zero comma b. Now looking at our equation, notice how the coefficient of x is negative three, and therefore the slope is negative three, which means when we graph the function, the line should be going downhill from left to right because we have a decreasing linear function. And now for the vertical intercept, notice how the constant term is four and therefore b equals four, so the vertical intercept would be the ordered pair zero comma four. And now for the horizontal intercept, there's no shortcuts here. To find the horizontal intercept, we'll have to set y equal to zero, in this case f of x equal to zero, and solve for x. So if we set f of x equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals four minus three x. So to isolate x, we subtract four on both sides. Simplifying, we have negative four equals, this is zero, so negative four equals negative three x, dividing both sides by negative three. Simplifying, this would be positive four thirds equals x. And four thirds is also equal to one and one third, so we can write the horizontal intercept two ways. We could write the ordered pair as four thirds comma zero, or if we wanted to, one and one third comma zero. But four thirds comma zero would be more common. Now we're asked to determine two additional points on the line, but because we're gonna graph the line, let's do this after we graph the line. We could make a table of values, but because we're gonna graph the line, we can find them easier from the coordinate plane. So to graph the line, we'll use the vertical intercept and the slope. So let's first plot the vertical intercept, which is zero comma four, which would be here. And now our slope is equal to negative three, but to use the slope, we want this to be written as a fraction. Let's write the slope as negative three over one. And because the top number is negative three, this indicates from the known point, we wanna go down three units and because the denominator is positive one, we wanna go right one unit. So from the known point, if we go down three and right one, we can find another point on the line. So we'll go down three and right one. So this point here is also on our line. Notice how this point would have the ordered pair one comma one. And this point here was zero comma four. Let's do that again. We'll go down three and right one. This point is also on our line. And let's do it again. Down three, right one. And why not again? Down three, right one. Let's go ahead and find the ordered pair for each of these points. So this would be two comma negative two this would be three comma negative five, and this would be four comma negative eight. Now we have plenty of points to graph our line, but I also want to point out that we could interpret the slope a slightly different way. We could have written the slope as, instead of negative three over positive one, we could have written the slope as positive three over negative one. And if we did this, notice how this would change how we would find the additional points. The positive three on top would tell us to go up three, and the negative one on the bottom would tell us to go left one. So from this point here, notice how if we were to go up three and left one, we can find more points on the line. This point here would have coordinates negative one comma seven. Now let's go ahead and graph our line.
because we found so many points on our line, we know this is a very accurate graph of our linear function. Now remember, we were supposed to find two additional points on this line. So going back over to our graph, let's use one comma one, and we'll use two comma negative two. Of course, we could have used any of these points except for the vertical intercept because it's at two additional points, and we already found this point above. And one last thing, notice how it does look like the horizontal intercept is the point one and one third comma zero right here, or four thirds comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.